Top 5 Misconceptions about Islam Number 5 Islam was spread by the sword There is no record in history that shows people being forced by sword point to convert to Islam Muslims ruled Arabia for over 1,400 years Yet today, there are over 14 million Arabs who are Coptic Christians If the Muslims had used the sword, there would not have been a single Arab who have remained Christian Another example is India Muslims ruled India for over a thousand years If they had wanted, they had the power to convert each and every non-Muslim of India to Islam But, today more than 80% of the population of India are non-Muslims all these non-Muslim Indians are bearing witness today that Islam was not spread by the sword If one considers a small number of Muslims who initially spread Islam to the west all the way from Spain and Morocco and into the east from India and China One would realize that such a small group of people could not force others to be members of a religion against their will It is also interesting to note that when the Mongols invaded and conquered large portions of the Islamic Empire They themselves embraced the religion of Islam Number 4. Muslims believe in a different God Some non-Muslims incorrectly believe that Muslims worship a God different than Jews and Christians This might be due to the fact that Muslims refer to God as Allah In actuality, Muslims worship the God of Noah, Abraham, Moses and Jesus The word Allah is simply the Arabic word for Almighty God The word Allah is very unique Nothing else except God can be called Allah The term has no plural or gender This shows its uniqueness when compared with the word God Which can be made plural Gods or feminine goddess Christian Arabs also refer to God as Allah Number 3 Muslims don't believe in Jesus Many people are amazed to find out that according to Muslim belief Jesus is one of the greatest messengers of God one cannot be Muslim without believing in the virgin birth and the many miracles of Jesus Jesus is also mentioned in many verses of the Quran and is often used as an example of good virtue and character However, the main difference between Christianity and Islam is that Muslims do not believe that Jesus was God or the Son of God Muslims believe that Jesus was a prophet and a messenger of God Number 2. Muslim women are oppressed one of the most disturbing misconceptions is the negative portrayal of women in Islam Namely, that Islam degrades and oppresses women This misconception is due to the negative culture and traditions that people all over the world still hold on to Unfortunately, these traditions sometimes overshadow the Islamic teaching and people from the outside believe that the traditions and Islam are the same when in reality, they are not For example Women in pre-Islamic Arabia had almost no rights They were viewed as objects and were constantly humiliated Their purpose was nothing more than to obey men and have children for him When a female baby was born, it was considered a disgrace to the family and they were often buried alive Islam brought positive change to Arabia People who embraced Islam had to let go of these harmful cultural practices And women were finally given the rights and respect that they deserved for every male convert to Islam today, four females convert to the religion Nobody will convert to religion that oppresses them The truth is that Islam provides women with the rights they deserve to be successful in this world and the next Number 1. Muslims are terrorists and extremists This is by far the biggest misconception of Islam Given unfairly by stereotyping and the public image that the media gives has anyone else noticed how when a specific group of people attack another group of people it is labeled as a hate crime but when a Muslim opens fire on anybody it is quickly regarded as terrorism Many political dictators and officials or extremist groups use the name of Islam as a strategy to gain followers and attention when many of their practices go against the teachings of Islam Islam does not support terrorism under any circumstances Terrorism goes against every principle in Islam and if a Muslim engages in terrorism, he is not following Islam Islam prohibits Muslims from attacking or killing any innocent person Allah says, whoever kills a person unjustly, it is as though he has killed all mankind In Quran, 
chapter 5, verse 32. If you enjoyed our top 5, be sure to like and share the video with your friends to help clear these common misconceptions. Please leave a comment letting us know which other top 5s you would like to see us cover on the Merciful Servants channel.